about this one tell me you are not shocked about this one now you understand what i'm talking about great people my great people great people freedom fighters lovers of freedom my great people all over the world you are welcome once again on ipob rapture media under the leadership of mazin namdekano my name is all mazi okin naukechuku known as the biafran child watching again the general my great people don't be shocked i am bringing you reality what is about to come i am bringing you things that they will never show you on the media that is why i'm always here to tell you the raw and down the consequences now you begin to understand what i'm talking about as fast as you understand what i'm saying it's going to be better for you and i a lot of people are saying that I love to talk. But I'm bringing you reality what is about to come. People that are already in your forest. Dancing and the shouting and rejoicing. About the blood that they're going to suck. Because these people are coming to suck blood. They are blood suckers. These people don't have human feelings. And I keep on telling people. This is, this is part of their plan. This is part of the uh, 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 part of the Islamization and part of the Fulanization. And this is the real part of the conquest. You know, I always tell my people what is conquest. They are coming to suck your blood at the same time, take over your land by fire, by force. And there is no how you can dispute it except you stand on your ground and begin to defend yourself. Apart from that, Believe you me, they will take over your properties and your land. When I'm talking about property, I'm not talking about the mansion you built. I'm talking about the land, the land. Because whenever they take over your land, they have already taken over your properties. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. Southerners, wake up. Of course, I know that you people have been waking up. You people are getting it right now. Because I always tell my people, in every sentence, there is a key point. That is something that you are going to focus on. And understand everything that I'm saying so that you will be able to back on this journey that we are. We are already in a mess. But things can change. You remember what these people told you last year? They connive with British people. Fulani, Fulani, Fulani. They are Fulanis. Nobody else. Fulani are the people that are going to start the war. And they have already started it in 2022. Full and me, nobody else. And I will explain more better. And I want you to lend me your ear and understand. So that you will not say, nobody told you about this. You have to, you know, protect yourself. You have to protect yourself by all means. You don't have to fold your hand. You have to die as a hero. You have to die as a hero. You don't have to die as a coward. Now you begin to understand. Do you want to leave, do you want to remain a slave forever? A slave of Fulani? Like what I want to say before. Remember last year, they connived with BBC and British people. They came, Fulani also told you to drop everything that you have, that you will have to protect yourself. You should drop it and go and hand it over to the police or security. I don't know who they are. But Fulani is there busy getting more ammunition, getting more sophisticated weapons, getting more assorted rifle, and, and you know, anything that is available to them to carry this conquest called jihadis. Now you begin to understand what I'm talking about. The more you listen to this, my broadcast, the more you learn more sense. Do you know the reason why they hold Mazen Namdekano today? 
The whole Mazen Nandekan, because Mazen Nandekan have been exposing these people, trying to tell the world, trying to tell the Southerners in particular, the Southerners in particular, what is about to come. But some of them, they, they are idiocy, have using, you know, they have already vandalized their brain that they couldn't even reason anymore. But Mazen Nandekan keep on shouting on top of his voice. Telling us what is about to come. That is why you see today they adopted him, kidnapped him. So that that voice will stop. They have already given us an, another things to be talking about. Irrelevant things. But now I have back again to my way of broadcasting. Telling our people the reality, the raw. Intels that come. Authentic one. That is what I'm bringing to you. Are you, are you, are you telling me you're shocked now? Are you shocking now? Tell me, just tell me you are shocked. I can never be shocked on this thing because I've been saying this time with a number. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. Buckle your belt, stand on your ground. What I said, buckle your belt and stand on your ground to embark on this journey that we all to rebreak our people from the hands of Islamist Wahhabist slash jihadist terrorists. Now you see that sophisticated weapon. Am I lying to you? What I'm telling you now is lie. Can't you see it with your eyes? You can see them. Can you tell me where in the in South that Southerners will begin to parade themselves without being any security uh, 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 people or vigilante? Begin to parade themselves, singing and dancing with our sophisticated weapons. Can you see it? It's only in Fulani because they are coming with conquest. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. I don't lie. I tell you the raw. Whether you like it, you believe. If you don't like it, you fant it. Because I don't care about who you are. I am the Biafran child. I have saw a lot of comments of some people. They are saying that I'm the one that causing all this thing that is happening. But I want you people to understand that the Biafran child is whiter than white. Whiter than snow. I say things that people are afraid to say. I call upon those that they are in the forefront of this jihadist so that the world and southerners will know who they are. That is why we're here. You think we are joking? We are not going to joke. We are not joking at all. Till Biafra is totally restored and Nigeria must be integrated, disintegrated. That is why we're here. We are not looking for presidency. I don't care about presidency. I don't care about being in Nigeria. I have made up my mind. I have decided what I want. What I want is the state of Biafra. That is what I'm looking for. And we are going to do everything in our disposal with truth. Truth with our mouth. We are not going to carry gun. We are not going to carry bullet. Now we are seeing Fulanis. Don't you see them? Am I lying to you? You see them dancing, celebrating. About the sucking of blood, they want to go and suck people's blood. They're because these people are blood suckers. You don't know before. These people are blood suckers. They are dancing, rejoicing, drinking about the blood that they want to go and suck. And you tell me that I should keep quiet. I shouldn't tell people what is going on. You can never find BBC in this issue. There is nowhere to be found. Only just to be concocting stories. Lying to the world. About things that they don't know. And whenever somebody like me come out now and begin to say it, they will say I'm cursing and giving people disinformation. Look at BBC, a liar. What they did to our people in 1967 to 1970, they are still coming back again and tell us the same thing. We have tell BBC, it's lie. We are in 21st century. We have learned, and I have tried to tell them if they don't know, we have made our space in the media. Or in the media, I don't know. We have found our space there. We have already got the space. And there is no how they can stop us. But I'm sending message to Southerners because I know that they are waking up. They are doing their best to make sure they stop this Fulani jihadists coming to our land to take over. Ethnic cleansing. These people are in ethnic, ethnic cleansing. It does not matter your religion. They don't care about your religion. As far as you don't believe in that Islamist Wahhabi slash jihadist terrorists, your own is gone. Now you begin to understand. They are killing Aousa's people, you don't know. They are massacring Aousa people today. Now they are already in our forest. They are already everywhere. 
Fulani are the people that are going to start the war in 2022. Now you begin to see it. This is their parade. They are parading in our bushes, forest. Southerners go and look for them and cut all of them. Cash all of them and deal with them. Where there is no mercy on this. Great people, good day and welcome.